<clears throat> Here we go. Alexander Usyk signs with skill, challenge, entertainment out in Saudi Arabia, the kingdom. Um, what does that mean? Mm, from the outside looking in, uh, it looks like it's it's good for the big four getting on in December that we've, we've, we've heard about. Uh, there's been rumblings and talk about Usyk, Fury, Wilder and Joshua all fighting on the same card out in December, in December, in the kingdom, uh, which for me as a boxing fan, I've fallen boxing for years. Jeez, that would be amazing. That would be one of the, probably the best cards in the history of the sport, having the top four heavyweights on this, on the same card. <clears throat> but Amir Abdullah of uh, Skill Set, uh, Skill Challenge, sorry, he basically said that they're, they're going to make it a triple header. So another heavyweight fight. Who that? Who will that be? Who knows? A Joyce against Zhang rematch. Who 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 the heck knows, man? Um, but he says maybe a triple header of heavyweights in December. Now, looking from what Frank Warren has said and Tyson Fury and Eddie Hearn on this December showdown between the big four, um, Usyk's already signed with the uh, uh, the skill challenge, um, out in Saudi Arabia, which is which is good news. So he definitely will be fighting in December on uh, in Saudi Arabia. He's got a fight in August first against uh, Daniel Dubois, so he can't slip up against Daniel Dubois. Otherwise, that that uh, clearly puts an undisputed fight with Tyson Fury in December <laughs> in the bin. But um, Tyson Fury's and Frank Warren offered Joshua the fight for September. Eddie Hearn came out and said that they don't want that fight because it might jeopardize the December fight in Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> um, and he wants to, uh, AJ to fight in August. It seems like all the, the big four they're wanting to fight before this uh, announcement in uh, in December. This big fight in December, which is good to know. Um, I don't know. It's just one of them ones as a boxing fan. You're skeptical, aren't you? You you just sort of like, will it happen? And if anyone can can make it happen, it's definitely the Saudis and the uh, the skill challenge promotion because. <clears throat> they've just got such a good backing behind them. They, they they can offer big money for these big fights. All four of them demand big money and they can offer it. Um, Fury wants to get out before December. Who will that be? The, the, the only one I can think of for, for Fury is, is Andrew Ruiz. He's, he's known in the UK. He's in the top 10. Because um, all the other top 10 guys, Josh, uh, Josh, Zhang, they've got the rematch. White looks like he might be facing Joshua in August. Well, who knows? You know what I mean. Um, and we don't. Do, would you rather see the the Fury White rematch or the Joshua White rematch? Um, Usyk's tied up with Dubois. Wilder's looking for an opponent again. Andrew Ruiz probably makes sense as well for for, for Wilder. Um, but they all four of them want to get out before December. Um, but that's the thing, man. They all get out before December, and one of them loses. Then, what's that do for this December showdown? Uh, who knows? But if you're a better man. Usyk Dubois, if, I mean, if you're a better man, I think that uh, Usyk would be favourite in that. And I think Fury in against any other top 10 guys in the division will be the favourite. Joshua right now probably needs a good, another fight with Derek James before he gets into a Wilder fight. And Wilder, man, for his sort of style, he, he's got, it's got that big right hand, man. Do you know what I mean? He... he <laughs> it's it's horrible to say, but it's, that's his... That's his, that's his that, that right hand's... Everything he's got, do you know what I mean? And as long as he stays sharp and fit and spars and stuff like that, he could probably wait out to December because his style probably suggests that he can wait. But I'm sure he would like to get out and get another fight in his belt. But Usyk signing with Skill Challenge is is good news on that front. I like it. Um, it's a co promotion with uh, Alex Krasik, I believe, as well. So um, I like it. But for me as a boxing fan. This year so far has been fantastic in terms of the fights the fans want to see. The fights want to see, wanted to see Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. They, they, they got it done and we saw it. Spence Crawford, the fans wanted to see that three, four years ago, five years ago maybe. We're getting it. We're getting it in July, July 29th, I think it is as well. Why not? Why can't we get uh, Usyk, Fury and Wilder Joshua? I mean, this year has been good in terms of fights so far as well. Um I think it's a step in the right direction for Usyk to get these big fights made because Saudi Arabia seems to be where the fights are. I think the skill challenge, they put on both Joshua and Ruiz. They put Joshua and Ruiz, and I think they've done 
uh, Usyk and Joshua, and I'm pretty sure, don't know what happened there, but I'll, I'll keep on going, keep rolling. Um, yeah, it seems like the Tank Davis Ryan Garcia fight, they both of the fighters picked up the phone and, and tried to get the fight made. They they spoke to one another and got the fight made. Same as Spence Crawford, they picked up the phone and got the fight made. Um, Usyk, Fury, Joshua Wilder, phone each other, get the fight made. It's that uh, I can say it's that simple, but it isn't when you demand so much money and you're all four four big superstars in the sport. But I think uh, this year's gone well so far, and if we get this uh, these four these two fights over the line. 2023 has to be the best year in boxing for a long time in terms of fight with, with Sale. Let me know what you think. Do you think we'll get to see Fury versus Usyk and uh, Joshua versus Wilder in December in the Kingdom? Let me know. 